Now, 2026 is about to start and I hope you've started making your career plans for 2026. I want to show you why hopping from service to service is not a good idea because in 2026, companies are not going to be hiring people who can list down the names of security services, right? They want people who, who are intelligent enough to understand architecture, how cloud services actually work within the context of WISC and you know which can help them solve their cyber security problems so the first step above everything is please get a free aws tier account that is more than enough to start playing around within aws and understanding how it works and to get hands-on do not just focus on theory you need to actually get access to it and start building up your knowledge about aws the number two step is start with IAM. Do not skip identity and access management. This is the foundation for every single security decision that is made within AWS. Do not just think that IAM is turning on MFA or putting in a password policy and that's it. I can now forget about IAM. If you do not learn IAM correctly, you will always have a problem later on. Okay, once you've learned IAM, the next step is to build a VPC. VPC is a virtual private cloud. This is like a small network, apply a piece of the AWS cloud in which you can launch your workloads and resources. So what will happen is instead of thinking about services first, you're thinking about the architecture. You're thinking about what are the attack paths here, and then you will map these two services. So instead of having services first, you're putting the architecture first. So instead of having a tool first mentality, you have an architecture first mentality. And this is what separates senior cloud security engineers from junior ones, from everybody else. If you are asking me, if you're starting out and if you're serious about AWS security, I would recommend doing the AWS Solutions Architect Associate and then doing the AWS Security Specialty do not jump into the AWS security specialty first if you're completely new to AWS because the solutions architect associate will give you a very good understanding of what the AWS cloud is, things like the shared, shared responsibility model and the other stuff. 